Hello and welcome to my channel on my videos. Today I am going to show you uh, fish curry, old traditional way of fish curry. One of the subscribers asked for the seafood recipe. So I am just showing you now one seafood recipe. Here we have the fish which is marinated with the tamarind for half an hour. So you will get that nice sourness in the curry. And then what all we need is some meaty seeds curry leaf, coriander, ginger garlic paste, oil, we have some uh, onion leeks and the bottom of the onion just a little bit and two onions. Here I got some paste, tomato, five tomatoes and two onions ground together. And here is a masala, I use my teaspoon. Saffron, 1 teaspoon, Jeera, 4, Chili, 5, Garam Masala, 2, Coriander, 1. All put together and blend it. So let it mix well. So let's start now. Put some oil. Let the oil get nice and hot. The oil is hot now. Let's fry the curry leaf. Well, fry the methi. And then we are going to fry the onions, only the onions. Let's wait for the onions to fry, let me hold them down. Now you can see the onions little golden brown. I forgot to tell you all. We will add uh, about six chilies. Let's fry it now. Yeah, six chilies along with this. Let's fry some onion leeks. But you keep these onions. Don't fry it now. Along with that, we can fry some coriander, half of it. Let this fry nicely and then we can add the ginger garlic paste. Now you can see it's fried nicely. So let's add the ginger garlic paste now. Try this till the smell, the aroma of the ginger and garlic is gone away and then we can add the ground tomato and onion. You can see the oil is leaving out so it's fried. Now, tomato and the onion. 
Let this also fry well till the oil separates from it. Now you can see this uh, tomato and onion gravy is fried nicely. So let's add the masala now. The same thing now, let it fry nicely till the oil separates and now you can add this onion which is cut from the onion leaks. Let's cover it for some time. Now you can see it's fried nicely, the masala is starting to separate, the oil is floating on top. So I'm going to add some water. The water I just mixed it which we ground the tomato and onion only. So, Even the salt I ground it along with the masala itself. So let's leave this for 15 minutes. Let it bubble up nicely and then we can add the fish. Now it's bubbled nicely. Uh, let's add the fish now. Together the tamarind water also you add. Put a small toss from under. And now you can drop in the remaining coriander. Cover it up. Five minutes is enough. The fish will be cooked and ready to eat. So now you can see the fish yeah, it's starting to break. So it's done. It's cooked fully. So please uh, try this and pass your comments.